Hello, welcome to another tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to look at how we can pick up different objects using different hands and use them. So you can see I've already got two tables, I've added two pistols, so it's just the pistol from the last tutorial but I've duplicated it and I've also added a torch but we're going to come back to that in part two of this tutorial. So, quick recap, I've got the two pistols. I have got a rigid body which I have set to kinematic. This allows us to interact with it but without it physically becoming solid in the actual scene. Um, I've also got the box collider so we can see I've just sort of shrunk them down so they approximately fit. Now the other thing I've made a change to is if we go into our camera rig I've got the left hand and the right hand anchor which I've already added the controllers to so if I just zoom in I've got the controllers and on the left hand and right hand anchor I've made sure I've got a box collider which is also set to a trigger and also the rigid body which is also kinematic so again this allows us to interact with each other but it doesn't mean we put any force onto other objects. The other thing I need, we need to do as well is in left hand anchor I've added a tag to so say this is left hand. If you're not sure how to add tags we can just click on the arrow say add tag and then you can just press a little plus sign and just type it in. Um, but then you do need to make sure you do go back to it and then actually assign it otherwise it doesn't happen automatically so the left hand obviously is left hand tag and right hand is on a right hand tag okay so let's jump over into making some code so I'm just going to right click I'm going to create a C sharp script and I'm just going to call this um, gun pick up and use I'm just going to come back and make that capital pick up and use so it's going to load up into Visual Studio. So I'm just going to back into Unity because I just want to assign to the guns. So if I just click on our two pistols, I can now just drag our pick up and use on the actual pistol. Okay, so let's get back into Visual Studio. It's not loaded, so I'm just going to double click. Now the first part of this code is the same code as from Pickup Gun. I could edit the Pickup Gun script, but I just want to start a fresh one so we can see where it's going. So the first bit is I'm just going to copy and paste our global variables. Um, I'm also just going to copy and paste our starting function. And if you remember from last time, this just assigns it so that when we want to put the gun down, it's going to go back to where it came from, which is something we might want to edit a little bit later. Okay, I want to have a new variable now, which I want to know which hand picked it up. Because this is attached to the gun, you could pick it up with left hand or right hand. So I'm just going to put char, and so I'm just going to, I could use an integer, I'm just going to put a character so it just looks a bit easier to read. Okay, so I've got the character hand. Um, I'm now going to come down to my update function. And I'm just going to say if hand, in fact I don't want to do that one, but we'll come back to that in a minute. I want a on trigger enter. So the first thing I want to do is, it has it been picked up? So public, uh, sorry, void on trigger Oh dear, I'm making mistakes on my typing. So avoid. Having a bad time typing today. On trigger, enter, there we go. So, so we've got an on trigger, so when the trigger item, either the right hand or the left hand kicks in, it's going to work. Now, um, I've got another bit of code that I need to edit in. So if I just do this, we can see this little bit of function I have got, which is if other, so if this collider, is the right hand and master controller dot right hand in use equals false. So this is something I've already said. So if you'll probably get an error at this point. So I'm going back to the master controller we created last week. I've deleted a bunch of code out of it. I've got rid of everything in these now. And I've just got two variables called left hand in use is false and right hand in use is false. So right now your hands are empty. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into this bit and we can see so if it's the right hand and the right hand is empty then we can continue into this function uh, and it's pretty similar to what we had before which is we're going to say pick up equals true so that yep this item this one right now has been picked up this controller so the controller just here um, is equal to the object that has picked it up's transform and then we're going to say to our master controller that the right hand is now in use and I'm setting the current hand to R for right hand I can now duplicate this again and then change it all to left hand. So this should now, if you were to run this, um, it still won't do anything because we're not told to assign anything to it, but we've obviously got left hand, left hand in use, and the same hand equals L. 
So if you are copying and pasting, please make sure you do just switch left hand round, otherwise it'll look a bit weppy. Okay, now in our update function, I've got again a right hand and a left hand function. There's probably a neat way of doing this, but if I just grab this whole bit of code that I've already written, I'll just talk through it. So in update, if the hand um, hand is equal to R, so if it's the right hand, I'm then going to say if we've pressed button two on the controller, so let's have a quick reminder of button two. So button two is our B button. If if it's if we press button two and our right hand is in use, it's going to set our right hand in use back to false. It's going to say pick up equals false, and then just set hand to an, to an empty, empty to a space bar. Um, this bit's a bit premature. This is if we've pressed the trigger and we want to fire our gun. Now again, I've grabbed this code from the last bit of code we created. That's why it's kind of, of complaining a little bit. So I'm just going to bring in the, that bit of code as well. So if I just come up here, there we go. We've now got our code for handling firing bullets because again, we are trying to pick it up and use it. So I've got a rigid body ball that's going to be public. Uh, the firing speed is going to be 50 and of course some setting fire to false. So now if we press our, again from our right hand, if we squeeze the trigger, so just like we did two tutorials ago, if the trigger's greater than nine, we're gonna, and, we, and it's not currently firing, the fire falls, instantiate the bullet, destroy it after three seconds. Um, if fire is true and the right hand is less, then it's gonna reset our, our fire state back to empty so we can fire again and keep on trigger firing. And again, we're just gonna do the same again for the left hand. So again, I've already rewritten, I've already picked up this code. So I'm just going to come down just here. Again, if copy and pasting, please be careful of your brackets. So again, if hand is left, it's the same thing again now, but this time it's button four. So if I have a quick look at button four, button four is our Y button. Um, so same again, if we press button four and left hand is in use, the gun can go back to where it came from. Um, well, sort of, it's going to tell you you can do it on the next update. And again, if we're pressing the left trigger, it's going to fire with the left hand. So, our next little bit, if it's picked up, if we if we have picked up the gun, we want to follow the controller. So if picked up equals true, so again, if I pick up true up here, if I pick up true, um, if it is picked up, where we've got, gone past it, there we go. If pick up equals true, we are setting the position of our gun to the position of the controller. And then finally, if it's not, if we put it down, else, then set it back to our original start transform. Now I've put this little comment here saying, should we remove this? Because we're doing this every single frame. And I think that just feels a little bit inefficient. We can probably put that to when we actually drop the gun, when we actually press this button up here to say, uh, put it back down. We can probably do something there. I'll come back to that and tie that up a little bit later. So now we should have got the ability to pick up our guns. So if I just save that, Come back into into Unity. You should update it. Now, what I've not got is I've not created the bullet in this scene because this was from the teleport and pick up option, so I didn't have a firing bullet. So I'm just going to very quickly make one. So if I just add a sphere, um, we're going to call that ball. I'll double click it. There we go. Rather too big. So actually I want to move that to where the pistols are, which are all the way over there, so I can just get a feel for the size of it. I'm going to press F to zoom in. Okay, still way too big. I'm only going to do this approximately. You can spend a bit more time just playing until you're happy with it. Will that do? Yeah, that'll do, that'll do. Okay, um, I don't want a white ball, but I'm going to be, I'm going to be naughty. I'm just going to grab... I'm just going to grab a, a, test, a texture from somewhere else, which was my gunmetal gun metal pistol. I'm just going to drag it on. So now I've got a black bullet, or close to black bullet. Click on there. I've already got the sphere collider. Let's just check its size. Yeah, it looks all right. And now I'm just going to add a rigid body. Okay. So now I've got a rigid body. That's fine. And I'm just going to drag that scenes back into tutorial 8. And if I just drag the ball down, it becomes a prefab. Of course, once it prefabs, so I can just delete it from the scene. I can go onto my pistols. There we go. It's got our ball, no rigid body. So I'm just going to drag that over. Because I selected both at the same time, it has selected it to it's put it on both of them. Okay. And there we can see the velocity of the ball. So hopefully that should be it. We should be able to now pick up these guns with either action. Um, and it should fire. 
Okay, so let's take a look. I'm going to go on to build settings. I'm going to add this current scene because I did a save as earlier. So it's my tutorial 8 pickup scene. Uh, build and run. And let's go and see how that looks. Okay, so we're on the game. We can see we've got the guns in front of us. I'm just going to click there. And it seems to have done something a little bit weird. But it is firing. It has picked up. Press B. Both guns go back. The left hand is not picking up. So clearly we've made a little glitch somewhere. Okay, so uh, I forgot to do one little thing, which was originally we had this as a public static public variable and I did change it on the original I'm just going to delete that press save so that it becomes relevant to this one to this this actual um, to this good the gun that you have picked up so it's one little variable that we've not renamed so now if we go back into unity we can do the usual file build and run and then we can see it, sh and it should be working okay so here we are I'm just going to teleport on over there's the gun, so there's the right one in my hand firing, left one in my hand firing, if I press the, the other buttons, there's the gun going back, pick left hand, right hand, still firing from the correct ones. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's how you can pick up and use the guns. Your next step would be to maybe add different weapons, but also you could write your own scripts. Rather than gun pickup, it could be the torch pickup or a different type of gun. Um, or you could use the same script and just put, you know, depending on which gun you've picked up, have a little variable that keeps track of what it is you've picked up. And then if it's that item, then do this action instead. Um, really, we should start to be looking at inheritance so that we're not copying and pasting code, but inheriting functions. And we may look at that in a future lesson. But for now, uh, good luck with implementing it, and I shall see you in the next one.